México hay otro deporte que son como más como fútbol, este, béisbol. El remo no es tan popular, pero pues a los que nos gusta sí, sí es una pasión. It's not uh, a well-known sport in Egypt, but uh, it's spreading, it's starting to get uh, more into the scene. Trinidad <laughs> has very few rowers. We're now trying to have a nascent rowing program. We've got like a couple people who've learned how to coach, and so they're trying to get rowing started. And I think coastal rowing is going to be huge because for us, coastal rowing is going to be easier. Yo remo en el mar. Yo puedo remo con animales. En el agua hay focas, no sé, delfines. Me ha tocado ver ballenas. Pero yo sí, sí. O sea, llego aquí el agua es calmita. Donde yo siempre remo es el agua muy movida, pues mar abierto. We row in the uh, River Nile in Egypt. Yes, in Cairo. Uh, it's the only source we can, where we can row. We went to college in the U.S. and I had never rowed before, but it was really fun. It was really hard. Like I find rowing very complicated. It's just, I don't, like I'm terrible at it. So like it's really challenging. It's, it's just hard to get technically. And so that makes it so fun because it's not easy. I mean, not as physically hard, it's technically hard. Because my father was uh, a former rower in the early 70, 70s. So my father, uh, when I was young, he just introduced me to rowing and I loved it. Uh, the Olympics is the pinnacle of our sport, so everyone wants to achieve that. Well, for me, the truth is that it's a dream. And I hope that it can be fulfilled. Represent Mexico in the Olympics, sorry. And not just represent them, but to represent them, so have a great result. I mean, so that would be my second Olympics. Next time around, you know, my, my, my sight's a little higher. There's still not a podium. I know I'm not a podium contender, but I can still try to represent my country well.